Hello, Jacob here again. Today, beginning another episode of The Spotlight. Today, we're looking at a game called Resin, as you can see here. Now, this is a game which came out on Steam uh, yesterday on the 10th of November 2016. And I decided to do this one because I'm looking for the new releases. And, well, there's a couple that caught my eye. There's this one. There was also another one which also caught my eye, which I may do after this one. But uh, yeah, I'm doing this one because the game, well, looking at the trailer, the game looks as though it could be good. Um, the game's only got three reviews currently on Steam. All look positive, but uh, there are only three of them, so hard to really say how accurate that is. But uh, yeah, we're just going to start a new game and uh, get into it. A bit odd there's no music on the title screen, but we'll uh, let's just start the game and see what happens. Do not know anything about the game really, other than just the screenshots in the trailer. But uh, it looked interesting. So we're playing as this character here, I guess. Um, just look at the controls quickly. Let's see, move, uh, action slash hit, jump is B. A bit odd. Uh, sheaf, inventory. Pretty simple controls. It's an inventory. Okay, sheaf. Um, Dodge slash jump. I don't think those controls are accurate because the. I'm not jumping if we, when we hit. Uh, yeah, the controls are actually reversed, kind of. A bit, uh, bit well, whatever, we'll just uh, play. Um, apparently, we can dodge. Oh, there we go. I, I see the, the uh, controls change based on if you got a weapon out or not. Um, just uh, let's see, we'll see what the game's all about then. So yeah, like I said, there's no. I don't know anything about the game. Currently, there's no real, real, real story set up or anything. Um, uh, so where do we go? We go. Can't run annoyingly. I'll see this way. Dead end, is it? Yeah, it looks like it. Oh, we, okay. Well, we just died. That's a lift up there by the looks of it. Uh, yeah, we'll restart, I guess. Okay, well that red bar has gone down, so I don't know if, what that means. Uh, it's telling me to pre oh, there we go. <laughs> there we go, so you can use these lifts. Uh, so yeah, I was pressing the wrong button there. Uh, let's go in here, see what's in here. Okay, what's this guy here? Hello, uh, what leads you into this forsaken place? I'm Oswald, have, you s have a seat, don't be shy. What, you don't know who, how to fight? I can show you a few things. Okay. Uh, you can only fight as long as you are in a stance. I've figured that out already. Uh, to, to enter a stance, press B. I figured that out. You can dodge and hit while in the stance, X and A respectively. That's it. Easy stuff. Oh, did you not? Uh, did you notice that the machine? Uh, that machine to the right is a, uh, a resin checkpoint. So okay, there's the checkpoints. Well, be careful out there. Good luck. Okay. So that's, uh, we're going to uh, respawn here now, I guess we die. Now, I think I forgot to mention, but the game is uh, £3.99. Did I mention that on Steam? Uh, £3.99 on Steam, so I guess about $5. So how do I actually hit then? That's it. Oh, it's X, okay. So let's kill this guy. Okay, so the you've got a stamina bar, by the looks of it. Yeah, the green bar is our stamina. I guess the red bar is our health, although our health is... Um, after you died, a health bar is been lowered, so I guess maybe when you die, you kind of get a small health bar, I guess? Uh, I'm not sure. Let's kill these guys. So it seems like it's kind of trying to be a little bit... Yeah, it is basically just trying to be like a... The combat system is trying to kind of be like a 2D kind of Dark Souls, I guess? Kind of. We'll have to see if there's like sh shields and stuff later on. So we're just... Well, we've got this... I guess, I guess we've got a sword at the moment, it seems like. We, I think we're going to drop. See if there's any. See if there's um, falling damage. Hmm, okay, we didn't take any damage. Let's kill this guy over here. Now, I think I forgot to mention the name. Yeah, the name of the developer. I think they're called Ren Renbird. I think they're called something like that. Um, okay, so you can actually. So when you um, when you got your sword out, you can actually turn around. By the looks of it, um, so you have to actually sheath and then turn around to do that. I guess. Um, hmm, not too bad so far. Um, 
it's fairly simple. It's, fa it's fairly basic, but it's fairly enjoyable. Um, obviously, the game is obviously not very expensive at all, so I'm not really expecting like miracles out of the game, to be honest. Yeah, first impressions are not too bad. Soon, crush this guy. Okay. Oh shit! No. I was, I was hoping that the lift... Oh, okay, so you can actually do like a bit of a combo here. If we tap the button quickly. That uses up a ton of stamina. But I was hoping that the lift would kind of crush him, but that's not how it works. Yeah, so far I'm fairly... Fairly impressed by the game so far. Um, there's not really a whole lot to really say at the moment. We're just kind of slashing away at these dudes at the moment. Let's yeah, sheath our weapon and go down. Let's go in here. Okay, more enemies. So hopefully there are like some new enemies types or something soon. Um, so we're just kind of fighting the same dudes over and over again at the moment. Piss off. Ooh, this guy's got a bit more health. Oh, oh, that's a fairly good tactic. We can just kind of go back up and then uh, get our stamina back. He did a fair bit of damage to us when, we, uh, when he hit us. Let's try and dodge out of the way. Oh, no. There we go. Ah, shit. Okay, he's got our stamina back. So, yeah, we, do, we have to be careful, though. So if, we do, if we do die, we're going to go back to that checkpoint. There's a room over there, so maybe there's a checkpoint in that room. There we go. It's a checkpoint here. Is this the same guy again? Okay, you managed to get here. You're pretty good. Thank you. Uh, what are you looking for? A warmth generator. Well, as far as I know, one is east of here. What? You want to destroy it? Good luck with that. But seriously, what is in it for you? Better take a seat. Relax. This world hasn't been in a rush for a long time. Can we actually sit down? Uh, doesn't seem like it. Please hit this guy. Oh god, because can't turn around. There you go. Okay, let's carry on. Uh, so yeah, the enemies do respawn. When you go into a room or save, I guess. Yeah, in fact, I'm liking the combat system quite a bit. Um, even though it is fairly basic. Um... I'm just hoping there's kind of more to it, like maybe some more weapons or more enemies or something. I'm guessing the game's probably not especially long. Uh, it's probably like... What's this here? Um, seeing as the game's only 3 99 I'm guessing the game's probably only like sort of two to three hours long, if I had to have a guess. Let's get our sword out anyway and kill these guys. So we've got a bit of story at least. Uh, let's go to this guy. Nice. Sprint button would be nice. Uh, but the character doesn't move too. Oh, we've got, got a new enemy. It's kind of like a Murloc from from like uh, Warcraft or something. So I think going to that checkpoint, we filled our health. I, that looks of it. Um, this guy's a bit quicker than the other ones. Yeah, it's so gonna have to hit this guy and then dodge. Although as soon as when he hits, he does kind of stagger for a second. So we can get a couple of hits in. Here we go, let's get a couple of hits in. Nice. So yeah, the game's uh, slowly kind of trickling into new content for us. Yeah, this is, this is pretty cool, actually. Um, that's a checkpoint, by the looks of it. So what's this here? It's a big skull with horns. Whoa! The primordial demon, okay. Whoa! No! So how do you, how do you attack him? Okay. Attack his head, is it? Yeah, okay. Whoa! Ah, fuck! Oh! Um. Oh, I should have hit him there. Ah, fuck! Oh, quite a bit of health. Ah, fuck. Dodging the attacks there is quite difficult. Okay, I think I see what to do here. Yeah. I think when you, I think when the um, the hands come down, you have to kind of go in a different direction. So you'll come down, then kind of swap. Yeah, there you go. Swap directions after it comes down. Okay. So we're gonna die here, but we're gonna have to. We'll have another go at fighting him. Yeah, I see what to do. Oh, 
So it seems though the um, the stamina recharges faster when you got your sword out, um, when you got it sheathed by the looks of it. Okay, Let's try and dodge. Oh no! Yeah, so how do you dodge that one when he kind of drags it across? And we died. Um, see, we have lost a bit of health. Our max health has gone down a little bit after we died. Yeah, let's check this guy out again. The primordial demon. There we go. He's going to come down. Yeah, this guy shouldn't be too difficult to beat. Yeah, he's going to be fairly easy to beat, this guy. Now we've got the pattern down. Yep, a few more attacks. There we go, nice. And he comes again. Oh, he's gonna do this. Uh, not sure how you dodge that one, to be honest. If you just go go all the way to the left, he won't hit us. Oh, there we go. Okay. Let's get a couple of hits in. There we go, nice. Get a few more hits in. Ooh, there we go. Okay, a couple more times we should be down. Let's get to the left, avoid the uh, fist. And we'll finish him off. Yeah, pretty... Uh, oh, well, that was the wolf generator, apparently. Um, pretty nicely designed boss fight, to be honest. Uh, yeah. Resin is getting colder. Okay. But then isn't resin... Was that us? Resin? Or was that... Uh, I can't remember. He did uh, kind of... There was some vague story, but I can't remember quite what he was on about. Uh, we've got a map here. Okay, we've got inventory. So there are items we can pick up at some point. Um, let's carry on. Yeah, resin. Um, it's quite good, isn't it? Uh, fairly enjoying playing this, to be honest. Nice combat system. Uh, visual style's right. Obviously, he's just going for a kind of pixelated look, but it looks it looks fine. Uh, the music was quite good as well. Um, let's play some more. See what else the game's got to offer. Okay, let's talk to this guy. Um, hmm. So our health isn't actually at full. Well, yeah, there's a number at the top left as well, which has gone down to eight instead of nine. So I'm not quite sure what that is. Um, I'm impressive. Didn't think I would live to see the day someone killed a battery. What? You're moving forward. Well, I don't. I won't stop you. Not with your ambitiousness. Anyway, be careful out there. Your resin will get completely stiff if you go on killing generators like this. I would help, but can't help even myself now. Will you get going now? See you around. Uh, okay, it's not... Um, the game's story is a little bit obtuse. Just fine, I guess. Especially seeing as the game is kind of channeling Dark Souls a little bit, which is obviously... Oh, shit. Uh, obviously, it's fairly obtuse itself. This guy's a little bit quicker than the other ones, by the looks of it. Okay, so you can still attack when you've got no stamina. No, no, you can't. Okay. Um, okay, you can bring the gently if level elevators down. It seems like the map's opening up a little bit now, because um, we could go left or right there, by the looks of it. Let's kill this guy. Dodge out of the way. Just be careful. Um, I kind of wish the game was... Well, we'll see how the game goes, but I was just, I'm kind of hoping the game gets a bit more difficult over time. Because um, obviously, so far, it's not been especially difficult, the game. Um, let's go up a floor. Yeah, we've got another nice little bit of music here. The music's quite good, actually. Um... Kind of, um, the music kind of does a good job of kind of setting the kind of game's atmosphere, I guess. Kind of this kind of fairly kind of bleak world that we're kind of playing in here. It's a character, he's going to jump down, isn't he, when we, um, when we get close to him. How? Let's back off. Okay, we're trapped in the corner here. Hope we can kill him. Come on. There we go. Oh, let's get our sword out. 
He's going to back into the corner again. Let's cut this one quickly if he can. There we go. That's one down. Nice. Let's carry on. So the enemies are dropping kind of weird, weird kind of green orbs, and they die. I'm not sure what that's all about. Um, doesn't seem that there's any sort of leveling system or anything in the game. Um, well, let's just carry on. Oh shit! I didn't see that guy up there. Yeah, I'm actually close to being dead here. It's kind of like there's like well, I'm guessing there's like healing items somewhere at some point, but we haven't come across any yet. Got his enemy here, so you can drop down behind him. Yeah, he's actually aggroed on this. Let's jump over him. Ooh. Ah, no! When we we dropped there. He actually uh, staggered briefly. Okay, he's got our stamina back. Um, let's go down. Yeah, we're pretty close to dying here, so hopefully there's like a checkpoint nearby or something. So uh, one of those kind of murloc looking things over here. It's kind of weird lizard looking looking things. This um, oh, let's check. Let's go to the checkpoint first. Cause I don't want to die. There we go. Yeah, so we fully. Oh, we have fully healed now. Um, talk to this guy. Oh, he's got nothing to say. Okay. So I'm guessing all the enemies will have respawned, probably. But, uh, let's kill this guy over here. Okay, let's let our stamina go back up. There okay, you go. You do a little attack on me. Oh, what? Yeah, he's dead. Yeah, the combat system is pretty fun, to be honest. Um, even though it is. It's fairly basic so far, although I'm guessing there's probably going to be more to come, but. Um, just the way the kind of character kind of moves and the way the weapons handled is quite it's quite weighty um, like uh, I like can kind of you can, you can feel it feels like you can kind of feel the sword swinging obviously the dodge move like the character is he's, he's weighty but he's also responsive at the same time it doesn't feel sluggish like I feel like I'm in full control of my character even though he is kind of fairly slow at moving and hitting hey yeah, drop down that guy um, let's go up here Yeah, these base enemies aren't too bad, so you need to go down in three or four hits. Um, there's another one over there. Let's see what's to the left over here first. Hmm, the map is getting quite open now, quite large. There's two enemies here. So can we hit more than one enemy, enemy at a time? Um, not entirely sure. We definitely don't want to get um, overrun with too many enemies, because we're probably just going to die if that happens. Um, what's over here? We have to go. Ooh, another one. God, these guys are bass, aren't they? These guys have dropped down. They're pretty hard to spot, actually. But yeah, we're not doing too bad. There's, so there's nothing over here, I guess. It's just going to drop down. We go over here. No, oh, we can. Okay. Okay. I'm just hoping the game kind of just gives us something new soon, like a new weapon or something, just to kind of mix it up a little bit. Piss off. Let's kill this guy over here. I wonder if I do like how the game... Like, the enemies kind of... There's... Uh, save here. Let's talk to this guy first. Uh, this is not right, friend. What happens if I... If you continue going like this, what good will do? Uh, what good will it do? I'll be moving out soon, I think. Good luck. Okay. Yeah, one thing I do like about the kind of visuals, there's the game kind of has a obviously has this kind of retro look, but then the 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 enemies kind of have enough definition to where you can kind of make up what they are. But you kind of there's kind of a there's kind of a level of kind of interpretation involved where they don't quite. You, know, you kind of have to kind of use your imagination a bit to kind of figure out what they are. I quite like that. Okay, we've got another boss here. Slivering, uh, in, what's the guy called? Slivering Insatia. Okay, he's going to go in his. He's going to hide in these holes, is he? Yeah. Okay. Oh. Ah, shit. Hmm. Probably going to die here. We have. We did get checkpoints before coming in here, so we might be all right. He actually missed us that time, I think. He hasn't got much health, though. 
Run! Now oh, he misses that time again. Obviously this guy, obviously he's like a, a giant worm or snake or something, but the the small enemies are kind of small enough to where they don't really have enough definition to kind of be fairly obvious what they are, and you can have to use your imagination a bit, which is quite cool. Um, this boss is not very interesting actually compared to the last one. He's a bit dull to be honest. Ah, no, he hits that time. He could have never warp generator. Ah, okay, I see. The number is the number of warp generators, I guess. So there's nine to destroy, and we've destroyed two, so seven more, I guess, to finish the game, I guess. Um, so how about we do one more, and then we'll maybe call that, call that a video, maybe? Uh, maybe. Um, I'm just kind of curious as to if there's just kind of more to it, like a like another weapon or something. Because so obviously there are, these, there are these entry slots here, so... Presumably there's more to it. Um, well, ah, this is the beginning. Ah, okay, this is kind of another... Something else that's kind of similar to Dark Souls is the way the kind of map is kind of linked together. That's quite cool. It's not it's not kind of full-on linear, like... Uh, like um, It's not a full-on linear game. It's kind of a certain kind of openness to it. So we can go to the left, we can go down, or we can go up. Um, let's go... Well, we don't want to go through all this again. So let's go down and left, I guess. Yeah, this game is pretty cool actually, and it's uh, yeah, it's not obviously not very expensive as well. So, I think for three pounds ninety nine or like five dollars, this is probably worth picking up. I like it. Uh, okay, so let's go this way. Ah, piss off! I wasn't really feeling that uh, that snake boss. Though. It was I don't know. It seemed a bit kind of boring, to be honest. Um... Oh wait a second. Ah, so you actually can't get up here. So how do we get down there? There is like something down there to the left. Okay, yeah, we can't get back up there unless there's another lift. No. Okay. Alright, well, let's go back up. Let's see, try and get our bearings. We have to go. Um, oh, but I guess we can drop down and then kind of fall into that that uh, slot, that kind of uh, area in the right there. Let's just try that. Let's drop down. Oh no! Ah, okay. I think I can see how we can get in there. I guess if we drop down to the, one of these kind of blocks and we can maybe jump over it, maybe. Um, that's right, because there's no falling damage, so we don't have to worry about that, at least. Yeah, so if we walk onto here, we should be able to jump across, maybe? Oh, shit. Oh, no, we're going to die. No. Oh, die, die. Oh, that's a bit irritating how the lift has to go all the way up before we can bring it back down. That's a little bit irritating. This guy's going to drop down. Yeah, he is. Let's turn around. Hit him with a four hit combo. Ah, fuck. Okay, we'll just go back up, I guess. Let's bring the elevator back down. Okay, well let's um, let's play a bit more. Yeah, I don't want to show off too much of the game, obviously, because uh, if you want to buy it, you obviously want to play it yourself. You don't want to watch me kind of play the whole thing. Yeah, we're playing for a good half hour or so here, but I guess the game's yeah, the game's probably about two to three hours long. Probably probably close to three hours. So you're getting fairly decent value for your, for your money. See if we can save again. Because our health's a bit. No, we can. There we go. So we refill our health. Let's go this way. I guess it's the way we have to go, I guess. Or well, the game. Where the, the game wants us to go, it seems. Have to trudge through all this again, though. It shouldn't take too long. Yeah, 
yeah, there's not really a whole lot else to really say about the game now, um, unless kind of something new happens. Um, other than it's quite good. <laughs> okay, let's carry on. Yeah, it's kind of a fairly simple, fairly simple little game, but it is pretty effective what it does. Just kind of yeah, like I said, the nice, uh, fairly nice combat system and the kind of nice visual style, well, decent visual style, decent music, and yeah, it's just kind of got. That's kind of all the game really needs to be good, really. I mean, uh, obviously the controls are fairly spot on. Can't really complain about that. Um, yeah, I haven't really got any complaints, really. Other than maybe kind of the game is kind of a little bit repetitive. Um, but like I said, we'll see what else it has to offer. Obviously, the game is obviously. Um, I'm actually going to die if I'm not careful. Um, the game obviously is just killing enemies over and over again, so even if it does kind of give us a new weapon or something, it's just still going to be doing the same kind of basic action of killing uh, enemies and bosses. Then as long as the game doesn't out state's work, that's not really a problem. Like, I think the game's probably short enough to where kind of the, repeti the kind of repetitive nature is not really going to harm it so much. Like, if this was like a five or six hour game, kind of doing this for six hours would kind of get boring, but... Doing it for kind of two or three kind of is fine. So uh, heal up and uh, carry on. Let's look at the map. So yeah, we're going to go down and then we're going to go. Yeah, we're going to go down the other path that was there, I guess. Having a fast travel would be useful. Uh, maybe that does get introduced at a later point, maybe. But there is a way to go down there in the middle. Um, we'll carry on this way anyway. Yeah, because trudging through these areas again is a little bit... I mean, it's fine, but the problem is, like, killing these enemies, not really getting anything for it. Like, it's not like an RPG where you're kind of killing enemies and kind of getting XP um, to kind of progress your character or anything like that. We are just killing these enemies just kind of for the sake of it, really. Let's get our stamina back up. Die. There we go. I guess one thing that maybe is a little bit grating is the game's not too difficult. Um, yeah, like we've not we we died once, didn't we? Yeah, we died fighting this guy once. But we've, apart from that, we haven't died. Um, yeah, maybe the game is maybe a little bit. Oh, we'll drop down here. We'll definitely see, yeah, there's definitely no fall damage. Let's go this way. But yeah, like the games could be maybe be a bit more difficult, but like I said, we are only a little bit in, so. The game maybe will kind of ramp up its challenge a bit more as the game kind of goes on. But yeah, I like this. Um, <laughs> I keep saying that, but I'm just trying to think of things to say, but you know, it's kind of only so much you can really say about a game which is kind of fairly simple and it's kind of in its kind of uh, in its ideas and execution. That's obviously not a bad thing. It's not a knock against the game, but it's just, you know, there's only so much I can say about hitting these guys over and over again, you know. Let's kill this guy. Okay, let's see what's this way then. Let's go up first. Yeah, like I was saying about kind of interpreting, kind of own interpretation. Like you look at a character and it's not really kind of clear what it is. Like I guess it's obviously humanoid, but is it like a male or female? We don't. The game doesn't really kind of tell you. you just kind of have to figure out yourself. Oh. Kind of your own kind of ideas, I guess, which I quite like. And like, obviously, the world is not really explained, so we're kind of just kind of figuring out, kind of making up our own kind of ideas of kind of what the world is about and stuff as we kind of play along. So kind of one of these kind of weird lizard-looking lizard things. He's dead. There you go. Let's carry on. Okay, well, let's just uh, fight one more boss, and then we'll uh, I'll call it a video, I think. I don't want the video to be too long and show off too much of the game. Um, what's this here? More, okay, more of these guys. Okay. Let's touch back. Get our stamina back up. Okay, we have a lift here, is it? Uh, yeah. I don't know where the lift's up there. There we go. Let's bring it down. Alright, let's go up, see what's up here. 
I'm guessing we're going to kind of go up and then we're going to link back. See that kind of, uh, there's a little blinking square there on the left. I'm guessing that we're going to go up and then that'll, we'll come back down on that side, I'm guessing, after you cut the boss by the looks of it. Okay, I'm not quite sure what this adventure is about though, because I haven't got any items or anything. Cut this guy. Yeah, okay, we've got some fire here, we have to avoid, I guess. Oh, it's a checkpoint, yeah? Okay. So it makes it get a little bit with some kind of environmental traps, which is alright. Um, ooh, I think that's a new enemy up there by the looks of it. Let's have a look what this enemy here is. Okay, what's this over here? Whoa! Ah, shit! It's fine projectiles at us. Ah, piss off. Okay, it's not too difficult to fight on his own. Oh shit, he's almost killed us. No! Oh, we died! <laughs> Alright, well I say he's not too difficult, then we die. Um, but uh, yeah, on his own, that guy shouldn't be too difficult to kill. But I'm guessing that guy's going to be quite irritating when you kind of... Um, if you're like fighting a dude and that guy's kind of shooting things at you, that's going to be a little bit of a pain in the ass to deal with. Okay, well, let's deal with him this time. You know, what to, you know what to expect this time. Get out of here. There we go. Yeah, what even is that? It's just like some weird kind of blob. Um, a weird looking thing. Well, up we go. Um, kind of one of these guys. Dodge out of the way, get a couple of hits in. Hey, he does do a shit with a shield bash though, so to be careful. Ooh, he's gonna... No! There we go. Ooh. Okay, got a couple more of those things up there. We should just be able to dodge them, just going straight up. Yeah, I'm not even going to bother killing these things. Oh, there we go. Ah, no! Ah, shit, he hit us, hit us on the way up. Ah, no! Ah, fuck! Oh, there we go, he made it, just about. And those things are pretty annoying. Oh, I thought there was going to be a checkpoint here. Obviously not. So, yeah, still going up. But I do like the kind of non-linearity of the game, though. Like, we, we kind of... Ah, oh, shit, another new enemy. Fuck. Like some weird-looking... I don't even know what that is. A bat, I guess? Ah, oh, shit! Okay. Yeah, like like I said, I do like the way the kind of game seems that you can kind of play the game in kind of a, in a, the sort of kind of sequential order to the game, which is quite good. Um, yeah, I could just have a lot of things to say, really. I just kind of want to... We'll just fight and go to the next boss and then we'll uh, wrap up, really. Um... I've got nothing else to really say about the game really other than I kind of quite like it. Get out of here. Let's just not bother killing him, I think. Um, yeah, seems that you can just dodge enemies if you... And there's no real consequence for doing that. So... Try to avoid enemies if we can. Avoid encounters. You don't hit me with the shield this time. Come on. Down he goes. Okay. Next room. Let's see what's to the right this time. Didn't go to the right, so maybe there's a checkpoint over here, maybe. Oh no, it's just never room, I guess. Let's see what's this way first. Okay. I wonder if this guy can be hurt by the fire. It's gonna be. Uh, let's test it out and see if see if we can get him in the fire. No, okay, he's not gonna get hurt by the fire by the looks of it. Let's be careful here. Oh, he, oh, there we go. He did die. There we go. Nice. We're very low on health, so let's try and get to a checkpoint. Hopefully. 
Ah, there we go. Nice. It's a checkpoint there. Fully healed. Okay. Ooh, what's this? We found some weird kind of server looking thing. Oh, it's a boss. Okay, root device. Okay. Ah, so you have to attack the box, I guess, and then... Uh... Ah, shit. Got hit there. There we go. Okay. So to avoid the bullets whilst attacking this. This is quite a cool boss. Okay, dodge these. Ah, shit, we got hit there. Oh! Okay, he hasn't got too much health, though, so... Ooh. No, no, we're dead. Fuck. Okay, well, we died. The game the uh, game was fairly um, generous with its checkpoint self, so we got a checkpoint right there before the boss, so... I think that's probably my only real kind of big complaint really against the game is that the game could just be maybe a little bit more difficult and challenging, I guess. Could get a few more hits in. Okay, we'll hit there. Come on. Okay. It's almost down to half health. Well, this is at least the boss a bit more interesting than the last one. I thought the last one. Oh, we died again. Fuck. Okay, I did think the last one, the kind of worm was a bit boring, to be honest. Okay, let's we'll try and kill him this time, then we can uh, wrap up. I don't. Uh, I still want to. I want to find out what this kind of inventory slots are for. But I'll just. Wrap, I'll wrap the video up after this fight. Uh, I think we've kind of seen enough to kind of judge the game. Well, I know I like the game, so I mean, I kind of uh, judged it already, to be honest. Fuck! Took a hit there. Now those things do some damage when they hit you. Know, those kind of energy balls or whatever they are. Fuck, fuck, oh fuck. Man, this guy's hard. Uh, ah, fuck. Maybe we can, I don't know, maybe we can kind of lure him over to the left, maybe, and then we'll... Yeah, I'm not sure, yeah, let's see if we can kind of lure him over to the left-hand side. That'll make it easier to attack the this thing over here. And I think it's just random how way he goes. Ah, fuck, taking damage already. Ah, for fuck's sake. Okay, we're okay. Uh, ah, we're dead. Man, this is tough. Let's try again. Well, let's just try to avoid damage because um, hitting this thing is not, hit, hitting him is not the difficult part. It's just avoiding these, avoiding the damage, which is the hard part. Okay. Just be careful. Can't really avoid that damage there. With the damage. Let's get in there. Ooh, not quite. Ah, fuck. One more hit, we're actually dead again. Ah, there we go. Nice. Get in there. Ah, no. Okay, quick, 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 move out of the way. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, let's not get out of the way. We were almost dead. Come on. Okay, so certain patterns there are. When you do certain patterns, you have to kind of stand on a certain area of the floor to kind of avoid them. Ah, fuck. Obviously, if you stand to the right when he's doing that kind of up and down pattern, he's just going to get hit. So, I'm starting to get this. Starting to get this guy now. Okay, let's go to the left. There we go. Ah, fuck. Man, look at that damn. Ah, I see. So I guess the I guess the more times you respawn, the kind of lower your max health will be by looks of it. Yeah, yeah, that is how it works. So if we keep dying here, we're just going to get and get less and less health. I guess I have to go to a different checkpoint to kind of heal up and then come back, I guess. Is that how it works? Let's have one more go. Um, uh, if we die again, we'll probably have to go to another checkpoint by the looks of it and get some more health. No, no, no! Ooh! We're going to get hit here, I think. Pretty... Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's not stand on the right-hand corner. Um, man, I've got a max health. It's going down a lot. Let's have one more go. Run, run, run. Nice. Get a couple more hits in. Okay, we're okay. 
I see we need us this, we can stand over to the right hand side just to just eventually hit us. Ah shit, we're fucked. Uh, man, let's have one more go. <laughs> one more go. But the fact that I want one more go is just kind of testament to just how much I'm enjoying the game, really. I mean... Ah, uh, oh, fuck. I mean, if the game was kind of not very good, I would just be kind of like, whatever, fuck it, but... I really want to beat this guy. But yeah, we're not going to beat him without that much health. We're going to have to go and, go and get some more somewhere. I'm not sure how we actually get our max health back again. I guess maybe a different check... Oh, shit. We're <laughs> right to the fire. Maybe, like, a different checkpoint would kind of do it. I think that's how it works. Um, we'll carry on just for the kind of... I just want to win one more boss, you know. Ah, fuck. Piss off. Yeah, we're going to have to go back and uh, come back up, I guess. We can't go up the elevator here because we'll just die from these kind of annoying things here. Uh, okay, let's go down. Shit, we're dead. Fuck. Now, because now our max health is so low, we're going to have a hard time getting back. Although, max health has gone up a little bit now. Okay, let's have one more go. I think I'll have one more go, and I'll, I think I'll drop the video up if I, if I can't do it, because it's going to be a bit boring to watch me fight this guy over and over again. I'm starting to get the pattern down now, though. Get out of there, come on. That's right. There we go. Avoid the damage. Come on. Ow, oh, fuck. We're doing this one again. Not too difficult to avoid, though. Okay, let's get in there for a couple of hits, hopefully. Even if you do one hit at a time, it'll be you'll know, slowly die. It's just kind of slowly whittle away his health, I guess. Ah, oh, fuck! Shouldn't have done that there. One more hit and we're ah oh, no! He's putting enemies in. What the fuck? Man, he is tough. Uh, okay. Um, well, what I'll do is I'll um, I'll end the recording here and I'll come back. Maybe if I can kind of get some more health, and come back up here. So I'll be might come back in a second. But if not, I'll just. Stop the recording again and kind of end the video. So I'll be back in a second. Okay, I'm back. So I went back a little bit. And one thing I realised is that your ma when your max health goes down, um, you can actually increase it. So uh, if you remember, you kind of kill... When, yeah, when you kill an enemy, they drop little green orbs. And it seems as though picking up those orbs regenerates your max health back up to full. So if you do this, we've got full health again. So we can have another go at the boss. So the game didn't explain that, but I did kind of realise after killing a few enemies, oh, our max health is going back up. So let's try and kill this guy one more time. you got full health with the... Ah, fuck. you got to be fucking joking. Ah, I just realised, well, I think when you get hit, you actually lose stamina as well, by the looks of it. we got full health. We should hopefully be able to beat him this time. We haven't got full health now, but we had full health. Okay, let's try and avoid this damage if we can. Probably going to get hit here at least once. No, no, we're okay. I just get just getting to this kind of weird looking thing is just it's just hard to just to get over there and get hit in, you know. Come on. Yeah, we should have actually gone under there, I guess. Let's try and get over there quick. Ah, oh, shit, took damage again. I'm not sure if I can beat this guy. He's, he's really tough. I mean, quite now he's spawning enemies in. We're okay. No, we're, we're dead again. No, get out of there. No, come on. Oh, I've got out of stamina. No. Now that is... I'm uh, not sure about the spawning enemies in. I don't, I'm not sure if that's was a. That's a bit harsh, to be honest. Spawning that enemy in there, you'd have to fight. I mean, the boss on his own is hard enough. Oh, okay, we're dead again. 
Let's have one more go. I don't know. I will end the video after one more go. Ah, God. This bit's not too hard. You can, you will, you just shoot in your direction here, so you can fairly easily dodge that bit. Ah, stop doing that. That bit's really annoying. Ah, fuck off. Oh. It's just so unrelenting. You just don't get really get a break to get hit in. There we go. Okay, let's get hit in. Only got one hit in. <laughs> and of course, there's going to be enemies spawning in soon, which is going to make things a bit more difficult. Of course, now it comes again with another barrage of bullets. I don't. I like. I like this. I like this boss, but I think he's maybe a little bit too difficult. Like there should be maybe a, just a small gap after he kind of sends his barrage off, so you can catch a breathe and get some hits in. Like here, we're just gonna. We can't avoid the damage here. I don't think. No. Well, there's me saying the game was not too difficult. Wasn't that difficult? But I uh, definitely take it back after fighting this guy. This guy is tough as hard as nails. I can't beat him. Oh, we're dead again. Okay, well, um, I'll end the video, I guess. Oh, no, fuck it, one more go. Fuck it. I'm beating this guy. Well, let's not be get cocky. Let's just take it slow. Got a couple of hits in. Run back. There we go, a couple more hits in. Come on, let's get cocky with three hits. There we go. Oh, come on, we can beat this guy. I've got the patterns down. Stand in the middle. Go to the left. Sh should be alright. Let's do this one again. We can't get in there whilst he does this, so just stand over here. There we go. Oh, nice. Got in there. Oh, nice. Nice. That was nice. Fuck, no. No, no. Ah, oh, fuck. We took like three hits there. It wasn't worth going in there for that. Oh, no. Ah, oh, God, no. Oh, we're dead because we're going to the wrong side. We're dead. We're dead. No. Oh, no. We're alive. We're alive. Now we're dead. We almost got him, though. He's down to about third health there. Okay, well, um, I'm going to end the recording. I'm going to have one more go. And if I beat him, then I will start recording again, I think. Because it's going to be boring you watching this over and over again. So I'll be back in a sec. Almost got him. Almost got him. Almost got him. Come on. Ooh, my heart rate's a little is elevated a little, a little bit here. We almost got him. A few more hits and he's dead. Ah no! Ah, ah fuck. Okay, well um. That is actually the end now, I think, of the video, because I can't be bothered fighting that thing again. Uh, maybe we have to kind of come, maybe if we kind of go a different way and come back, we'll get like a, a stronger item or something to beat him, but that is one tough boss, fuck. But yeah, I'm going to end the video here, because I've been going on for long enough now, and I've got a pretty good impression of this game. Obviously, uh, resin, uh, £3.99 on Steam, so about $5. I like this game quite a bit for the... For the price, I think this is well worth picking up. It's uh, pretty cool. Um, obviously, it's a pretty simple game, but it's kind of a there's enough going around the kind of basic kind of com. Obviously, the basic combat is fairly repetitive of uh, kind of slicing and you're standing, you're going down and dodging and all that kind of stuff. But there's kind of enough going on, enough enemy variety, enough kind of environmental stuff, and kind of enough kind of bosses and all that kind of stuff to kind of make it just interesting enough to keep it interesting um yeah and I, th I mean i'm guessing them there must be like some sort of new weapon or something you can get because there's obviously these adventure slots here but we haven't come across anything like that yet but um i mean i want to play more um 
I mean, maybe I will actually kind of carry on playing. Oh, I think I will carry on playing after finishing the video. Um, I like this one quite a bit. Um, yeah, and that's what I've got to say, really. It's, it's quite good. Resin. Um, now, the name of the studio, I've completely forgotten, because it got a bit of a weird name. Let's just uh, look it up again, briefly. Uh, so I've been Jacob, of course. This has been the spotlight on resin. I hope you enjoyed that. I quite enjoyed the game quite a bit. Uh, you can obviously uh, do all the usual bollocks of leaving a like and a comment and a dislike and all that bullshit that people say. Um, where are we? And obviously I'll be uh, seeing you in the next episode of the Spotlight where I will be doing another little game on Steam which is not very well known. Uh, yeah, Resin. Uh, made by Rin Bird. I get, that's, what, that's the uh, name of the studio. Rin Bird, uh, R A N B E R D. So I guess it's, I guess it's Rin Bird. That's how you say it. Quite a cool little game. I like it. Um, yeah, like I said, all the free reviews on Steam. So not a very well known game, or well, not yet. Hopefully, this video will uh, maybe get a few eyeballs on the game. Um, so yeah, I'll see you in the next video. And bye, I guess. Bye.